Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day three of the April Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. This one is 79 word search. Given a grid of M by N, grid of characters, board, and a string word, we turn true if the word exists in the grid. All right, so it could be horizontal or vertical. Can it be diagonal? That's not. Oh, no, we could. Uh, it doesn't have to be a straight line, so yeah. Okay. So it seems like this is a, a an example of uh, what's it called? Backtracking, right? Uh, or brute force, as I just like to call it that way. Um, so yeah. So I guess let, we, we can just try that. the The key thing about having things that are backtrackable is basically the bounds. Uh, there are a couple of things I would add here in competitive programming. It's kind of tough to have good backtracking problems and good backtracking solutions because of the ideas that you can challenge, right? So you always test it against your worst case. And so backtracking is not usually tractable because by definition, you you know, your, your worst case is something that you haven't considered. Or maybe not consider not that you haven't considered, but not explicitly considered, right? Um, and where in in real life, in regular programming, backtracking does come and play more often because you're dealing with some sort of data sets, some sort of input, right? Uh, maybe it's something from real life, and if it comes from real life, maybe there is some. Um, uh, you know, there's some patterns to the real life that allows you to exploit that pattern, right? Uh, maybe it's that, you know, for example, for this particular problem, maybe things are dictionary words. If it's dictionary words, then maybe certain, you know, um, you know, if, if things are in American English dictionary, then maybe there are certain patterns that allow you to kind of skip over certain other things, right? Um, like maybe, I, I don't know, right? Like, not having too many vowels or too, or some or I don't know consonants in the world I don't know some, something like that that deals with it right um, so definitely there are a lot of yeah you know, uh, backtracking does have that purpose here and kind of when you look at the follow up the the pruning the branch and bounding is part of that as a result because you're like well uh, you know th these inputs only appeal to certain um, you know patterns so that's why backtracking can be used. Uh, and, you know, in general, these backtracking problems are something really expensive because if it's not expensive, we wouldn't be using backtracking. We're using those other smarter algorithms, right? So it could be something in NP or it could be something like crazy high polynomial or something like that, right? So, yeah. Uh, and also one, one additional thing I want to say is that very often in real life, you don't need an exact solution, right? You, you can use an approximation algorithm, which... Uh, in a way, you trade accuracy for speed, and that may be good enough, right? For example, if you know I click on YouTube and it gives me all my recommendation, hopefully recommendation to my back, uh, my handstand video, for example. Um, but yeah, like it doesn't have to be that accurate on how it tells you, uh, you what YouTube videos to look at, right? Like it's, you know, it, it's probably get some pattern, it'll be fine, and you'll click on more things, uh, or even like. Another example is shortest path, right? Like if I'm going from here to, um, I don't know, I'm here in New York. If I'm doing a plane to, uh, or maybe I'm just driving from New York to, say, San Francisco, right? Um, well, there are a lot of different roads, and it, but it doesn't matter in the sense that it doesn't have to be the optimal one, right? Like does it matter that I'm taking a road that is 25 hours or 25 hours and 10 minutes? Eh, probably not, right? Because you're already stopping at, and you have other things you want to kind of uh, care about more anyway. Maybe getting gas, maybe, or oil, or petrol, depending on where you are. Uh, or, you know, we want to stop by McDonald's or something like this, right? So there are a lot of different things that allow you to kind of use approximation algorithms and backtracking and all these things, uh, as long as you don't have to be 100%. But yeah, uh, so this is... It's a little bit of a side rant to kind of give you a flavor of what it's like to work in computer science and programming, all these things. But yeah, but I just want to tell you a little bit about backtracking and how that works. All right, let, let's let, let's do the backtracking. I mean, it's not a complicated thing per se, uh, especially when you know that in, in the competitive programming sense. And this is why maybe it's definitely something that I'm a little bit weak on. 
because it doesn't come on competitive programming. So in the past, I have not practiced this enough, right? So yeah, so here maybe we can, you know, just have a, uh, not void, but a, like a used is equal to do, 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 do. Right, so then you have here, you have a search, you have maybe um, like a counter for, for the index that we're searching for word, right? And then used, uh, but used doesn't have the parameter because we're kind of globalizing it. It's a little, I don't know, maybe it's fine. Depends on how you write it. Uh, I like to intentionally uh, use this this way because at least for me, I mean, it depends on, on how you know how you like it, and also how consistent code bases are. But but for me, I, I like um, depend on how, especially for helper function that is self-contained. I like to not have it inside here because if I have it inside here, then you have to be careful about the side effects. Where if it's outside, the side effects are definitely like in like intentional. So yeah, okay. Oh, okay, so yeah, so maybe like a global found is going to force, right? So if index is equal to n, where n is the length of word. Oh, I have to, I, I'm kind of, I kind of got lazy here. And I mean, x, y for the, but yeah, if it, and then we we found is equal to true, uh, we return, right? We have to non local this. My problem is kind of hot today, right now, to be honest. Give me a second, I'm going to get some water real quick. Sorry, friends. Uh, gotta keep hydrated. Very important. Uh, and yeah. Definitely a little tired and a little hydrated. Uh, dehydrated. Uh, ran a couple of miles today in the rain, and I think I just never drank enough water after that. And I went to get Indian food, and I love Indian food, but. Still didn't hydrate enough from that either. Like, I just didn't drink enough water. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, we have this, right? So, then now, do, 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 right? Mm. So, we assume the precondition is that um, how do we want to set up the precondition? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I guess, yeah, maybe if board of xy is not equal to word of index and I guess we just return right other so we could you could write the if statement in a number of places but yeah but then now here we go up down left right right so the way I like to do it is I put um put directions but you also write name it in things right you can name this in a number of ways is what I was saying sorry I think that came out mumbled uh, I'm just uh, kind of feeling a little dehydrated and not well today uh, maybe it's because I, I ran in the rain, so I don't know. But yeah, and then now for dx, dy in directions, because now the invariant is that word of index is equal to board of xy, right? So then now, um, next x, next y is equal to x plus dx, y plus dy. Oops. And then if an x is, you know, if it can bounce, and, oops, Uh, and and then now if it's in bounds, then we could do hmm this is a little bit odd actually is this right because I want to write something like search index plus one and x and y right but But I think like it doesn't make sense to go index plus one to go to index n, right? So I think maybe I I want to do it this way so that it does the match, and then here if it's, this is the last word, then we can return. I think that makes more sense to me. Uh, I mean, it's just about handling other edge cases, but that's I, the idea. Uh, I think that's it really. So then now we can just kick it off, right? So search um, zero x y right and then now we return found i think that should be good and that's i mean you know way prone to making silly mistakes but yeah okay well why is that return oh uh, i'm dumb i i i forgot like 80 percent of the form but 
uh, which is I forgot to take you know use to use to it probably was just you know A B C B probably just went back and forth on the P. Definitely a good catch on the on the on the uh, thing, but yeah. Um, okay, so is this and not used of N X N Y right? And then here used. Um, hmm. No, I think the way uh, I want to write it is that used x y is equal to true. Definitely writing this a little bit different than usually. And then after that, yeah, uh, and then here. Okay, give us submit. Hopefully, I made uh, apparently I made a lot of silly mistakes in the past. Maybe it times out. I didn't do any pruning. Oh, okay. Why didn't? I mean, it seems like I've made a lot of mistakes in the past. I'm curious what they are. Uh, hmm. What did I add it to change that? Like, what is the difference between this and this? They're the same code. Or did I click on the same thing twice? All right, let's try again. Sorry, friends. Let's take a look. No, they're the same. Hmm. Did it just... That is weird. Huh, I don't know. All right, well, in either case, yeah, I mean, the complexity here is going to be exponential because that's how backtracking works. Um, basically, you, your, your, the idea is just going about branching factor and each one you could branch three different ways, right? You know, basically, not, or up to three, obviously. There's the side of the things. Um, three because you you don't come back the direction you come in, but it will also be less in a self pruning kind of way. So let's just say roughly three is the branching factor, and your branching depth is up to fifteen, which is the length of the word. So that that'll be kind of roughly your upper bound, but uh, uh but it'll be it won't be that tight just because, like I said, there there are self pruning things. Um, could you use self -prun uh search pruning to make it faster, a larger board? Yeah, I mean there are definitely things where maybe you could um. You can figure out how to gauge out that, um, like impossible cases, right? Like if, 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 for example, I don't, uh, but like, yeah, if you don't have enough letters, or, like if you don't have enough yees, and yet you still have a lot of yees left, or something like this, there are a couple of ways you can do it. But uh, I'm not that, like I said, I'm not very good at this. Uh, and a lot of this depends on the data. It's not just about larger board. And it's not about, the, the thing about pruning and having these things is that the idea about pruning is not just pruning blindly. It's pruning based on data input and studying your data input sets to find patterns to optimize your code to to solve for those problem input. So, so I find this follow-up kind of meaningless, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, or like, you know, I mean, we could talk about some back of the things, but I don't know. It's not that interesting to me for today, to be honest. If you want to leave a comment, that would be great too. But yeah, uh, cool. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I'm going to do an extra problem, but stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you all later and take care. Bye-bye.